body, it's just stayed and I'm here with the scrappery doing a layout in my traveler's night no my traveler's notebook. I think it's called a notebook but we'll just keep moving along. <laughs> um, this beautiful 12 by 12 paper from Coco Vanilla. I, I had to use it. I was like how can I use this in my traveler's notebook and I'm like well I can cut it in half. It felt weird <laughs> and then I kind of thought obviously I can't fit the whole circle in and I didn't want to try and cut the circle down to try and resize it because you really can't let's face it although in my mind I try these things and then they don't work out and then I wonder why <laughs> so I thought I could at least get the illusion I'm just using a corner punch here because my traveler's notebook has corners on it by the way so I thought I could still use it and get the illusion of the circle and get the effect so that was what I was going for as you can see here I kind of pulled it off I think I just love the paper it's so beautiful I would have actually to be honest I would have if I had a um a 12 by 12 frame and you know I brought sort of like I wasn't doing the kit as a design team member and I just sort of brought it for my own personal use I would have just put it in a 12 by 12 frame and put some gorgeous saying in the middle and hung it up on your wall maybe I should have done that as an off the page thing that I could do for next time <laughs> for something a little bit different maybe um but yeah it's it was it's so beautiful anyway I've said that I'll, I'll keep saying it probably so I've got this little photo of my daughter and her friend and her friend's got the red top on so I really sort of wanted to use that photo with these papers because um, the brightness really sort of tones in. My daughter and her cheeky hands <laughs> were having a hand fright. <laughs> I was slapping her away. But yeah, so I then wanted to sort of I guess you could say anchor down the photo with some paper um, so I was just ripping up these little cards that you get in the kit as part of the sort of the project life part of the kits that we have um, and I just thought they were perfect because I don't feel like I'm wasting too much paper because they're really small and I wanted to sort of draw back in that flower a little bit so I used some of the same floral pattern I wanted to add a bit of darkness because there is quite a dark background in this photo and there's dark flowers in the circle of flowers there. So I wanted to sort of bring that darkness in to balance it out. And I think if you look at it, you can see that as soon as I added the dark paper, it's like a dark navy, it's beautiful. It sort of really did sort of tone it all in. You know me, I can't not use a flower. I, I, I'm gonna challenge myself to one day do a, a layout without flowers. <laughs> I'm already getting anxiety over thinking about that. But here I'm just, I mean, I just play. I'm just literally like plopping things down. I really do go by, I love those word stickers. I really do go just by eye and what looks good to me. I think just, I mean, I've been doing this a really, really long time and it just comes like without thinking. Like, so if you've just started or if you're new-ish to um, you know any kind of paper crafting um, and and doing it even if it's scrapbooking on paper on like cardstock or if it's in a traveler's notebook and you're struggling just know that the more you do it the more it just becomes second nature I really truly believe that So I really love these little flowers that you get in the kit and even though technically they're probably more of a like traditional scrapbooking that you use them for however I kind of get a little bit sort of like well no I'm going to use them in my traveler's notebook <laughs> because technically they're quite they're quite um bulky and so they will bulk up your traveler's notebook but as you can see here I'm just using anything I can grab and I squash them down really flat they still have the effect they still look nice and it just adds that tiny little bit of dimension to your page which makes all the difference sometimes i think so don't be put off by things squash them down and add them to your book is the bottom of the story <laughs> so now i'm just um doing my journaling i did write a fair bit 
for this layout and that's why I did everything a little bit higher up on the page when I was doing the layout because I knew I would have a fair amount of journaling on there so I'm just talking about the photo she's actually my friend's daughter um, who I've been friends with for ever basically um, and it's just so sweet that you know when your kids become friends it just makes it even more special when it's someone that you've been friends with for a long long time it's just I don't know it just takes it to that next level but that's basically it I didn't do any watercolor or anything I just wanted to keep this nice and and um, clean and simple yeah oh I did actually sorry I had forgotten I'd done this I did just outline this flower I just felt like it just needed to pop a little bit more so I'm literally just going around with a pen as you can see and outlining and it just adds a bit more of that black in and balances out that that um, title there but that's it hope you enjoyed it all and i'll see you all next time <laughs> bye thanks for watching